I bought another insane Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection purchase. Today we have a collection that I not actually haven't bought yet, but I'm gonna be buying. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think I should pay for it. Let's get into, I think there's a note here. Let's see what the note says. There's also a giveaway that he sent. Hey Rox, definitely enjoy watching all your vids. Keep up the good work. We'll definitely have to do a meetup with Yu-Gi-Mo sometime. Toen, IG, YGO, Fo Show. Go check out Toen. He's actually a really cool guy. I sold a lot to him. He's bought a lot from me and now I'm buying a lot from him. So he's selling me one of his binders that has a lot of really awesome stuff. So I've already pulled everything out of the binder because you guys know how looking through binders is. It's really hard to do. And this way we can actually like look at some of the condition of the cards and I have to stop, pull it out and do all that stuff. So I think it'll be a lot better. Let me know what you think about this. If we also have a couple of things in here, I don't know what these are. I pulled out the binder, which is one thing. And now there's this, which I'm not sure what this is. Looks like maybe extra cards. Maybe we should do the giveaway first then. There's a giveaway in here. Okay, we got the giveaway open inside. Oh, wow. Rise of the Duelist booster pack. I mean, those are extremely valuable now. I mean, for a new set, they're extremely valuable. Then we have some giveaway cards as well. Okay, the giveaway cards are Galaxy Serpent. We got the Star Leech Galaxy and Mask of Dispel. Full of Night. DD Assailant. That's really cool. Light and Darkness Dragon, also really cool, and an Exile Force First Edition. So a pretty awesome giveaway from Toen. So all you guys have to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the collection. What should we pay for it? Let's hop into these small things here and see. I think these are just some bonus cards. The binder was basically all fire. Like everything's pretty awesome. You know, I mean, not everything's worth like a ton, but there's a lot of cool stuff. It's not a lot of, you know, fluff. So inside we have, this looks like it's a uh, open deck or something. Okay, that, that's never mind. It's not all open decks, so it's just some random cards. Vanity's Fiend. So maybe, yeah, this looks like some sort of deck where it's like Monarch slash Vanity, so no special summon kind of thing. Okay, so it's like a it's a little deck. Pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. So it's a nice deck. So there's a Monarch deck, and then let's see what this is. This one seems a little bit big for a deck, so I don't know if this is a deck or not. Um, wait, are these foreign? It wait, let's say Ita is that it Italian? Okay, we've got some Italian cards. Interesting. Some fluffle stuff. I don't know. Polymerization. And yeah, these are Italian. That's really cool. I don't know if I've seen a lot of Italians. So that's pretty awesome. Um, well, we have opened a couple of Italian packs that were sent in for uh, videos. Oh, these are not Italian. Okay. So like it switched over, it looks like, to English again. So we've got the uh, Foolish Burial Goods. This is a good card. Totally awesome. Actually, <laughs> unsleeved. I think that card's worth a lot, actually. Um, okay. Bahamut Shark is a decent card too. Wow. Okay. Fluffles. Okay. I mean, there's some good cards in there actually. So, you know, that's just showing you how good the binder is if some of those cards are in there. Okay. Let's hop into the actual binder. Uh, first, we're going to start off some Lost Art cards that were in here. So we've got three Harpy Queens. We got Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Foolish Burial. We got the Barrel Dragon, Storming Wind, and the Fright for Leo. So a bunch of Lost Art stuff. We're going to go through these in stacks at a time. So we've got a Mirage Knight, Yada Garasu. That's an E-N. I did not notice that. That's a L-O-D-E-N, which you guys have heard me talk about E-N. L-O-D is one that's really tough to find. It's only in Master Collection, I believe. I think that you can only get it in Master Collection 1. So pretty rare secret rare. It's not in great shape, obviously, but still really cool. Dark Necro Fear. we got the uh, L-O-B reprint Exodia. Still awesome. Some more reprint cards. Nobleman, Dark Hole. We got a play set of Get Out. These are from the very first Starlight set, Rising Rampage. There's one of them, at least. And then there's a, a couple of other copies, but the reprint. Ooh, the uh, the Tin Raigeki is really awesome. Storm Dragon's Return. There's actually a Starlight of this in this somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Magicalized Fusion. We got the uh, Mirror Force. I, going backwards is actually way better because most of the good stuff was at the beginning. Going backwards will make it a little bit better. So we get to the really good stuff at the beginning. Well, at the end here, I guess. Pot of Desire. So there's a ton of good meta playable cards. There's also some throwback awesome cards as well. So the gold Torrential Tribute's really cool. A lot of people now are big fans of the gold, which is hilarious to me because they used to hate it, but now they love it. Galaxy Cyclones, we got the Broken Line. Three of those. It was a lot of play sets of stuff. Cosmic Cyclones. There's a Secret Rare. Cool. Here's a, a uh, Speed Duel Secret Rare, which looks really nice. I think this was in the uh, Battle, Battle City thing. Is that where this was? This card used to be really expensive. Um, I think that, yeah, it got reprinted in LED. Or, no, this is the original. It got reprinted in Legendary Duelist Season 2. It was like 30 bucks for a super rare. It's crazy. Okay, World Legacy Succession. This card is a reprint of like an $80 card. That's from the tins last year. Speaking of tins, next weekend we're opening tins. It's going to be awesome. We got Tour Guides, the alt art. Really cool. 
two of those. We got the uh, Phantom Knight of Rusty. Okay, awesome. Five headed dragon. I still have some of these from my uh, dual overload opening. Over. I have so much dual overload left, guys. When I opened five cases, I sold all the good cards, but like some, like all the stuff under a dollar, I have tons of it. Foolish Burial. Got the Neos Fusion. So I mean, just all that is pretty good stuff. Here's some really cool stuff. We got the Red Eyes Black Dragon Gold Rares. Three of them. The Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, another Red Eyes. So, four Red Eyes, a Blue Eyes, and a Dark Magician. That's awesome. The Parallel Exceed, King of All Calamities. We got the uh, Immortal Phoenix. Some Dolce stuff here. There's the, oh, a Chicolate. Chicky Chicolate. It's the Hoot Cake. There they are. Check out these cute little Chicolates. Gotta love it. More Medolce. Yeah, just a lot of Medolce stuff here. Uh, Angeli. That's from uh, Battles Legend Armageddon. Uh, we pulled a billion of these. Uh, another tour guide alt art pretty cool the last warrior from another planet that's still worth something <laughs> even though it's so old smoke grenades those worth crazy commons before this reprint the aurora dragon the levianir protector al mirage the dark creator we got a beatrice so a lot of this is not crazy stuff but um it's pretty nice we'll get to some really cool stuff soon so we get dark magicians dark ruler hot desk we oh the gold rare dark magician i love that Boral Guard's not a bad card, four or five bucks. Big Core, the Mobius, Nightmare Phoenix, and an Honest. That's very cool from Twilight Edition. We got the Cerberus, Dark Magician Girl from Speed Duel. That's cool. Alpha, the Magnet Warrior. You'd love to see that one. And then some Goshers. We got the Herald. We just opened this the other day. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. Gore's the Emissary of Darkness. Solemn Judgment. That's really cool. Earthbound Immortal, and Kakatalua. Very nice. Thor. We got an ultimate rare. We got ultimate rare Trident Dragon. Ultimate rare Elemental Mr. Story Odyssey. So we're starting to hit some big stuff. Trap Tricks with Flesia. That's a pretty good card. Deco Talker, Sky Striker, Kiana or Kana. I don't know how to say that. There's three of them. So very cool. Ultis. Arm Dragon level 10 is a cool one. I think it fell a little bit in price, but still pretty cool. Harpy Perfumer. Okay. Toon World's pretty cool. Invader of Darkness. That's the secret rare. That's a reprint. Got some Drytron stuff, which I know is one of the best decks. I don't know if that, those cards are good or not. The uh, Croco Dragon. Thunderbird. World Legacy Guard Dragon. The Hieratic Seal and Evenly Matched. Those are some good cards. E-Telly just got, uh, went to two, so it's a little bit more valuable. Dingirsu. And a Phantom Knight Fogblade. We got more Vanity stuff, so uh, he had those in his deck, so maybe those is extras. Buster, Bl Buster Dragon, I should say. Thunder Dragon Duo. We got the uh, Colossus. Maybe it'll come back one day. Book of Moon. King of Swamps, Victory. We got some, uh, here's some Dragon Mates. We got a lot of them. Cursed Necrofears are really cool and that we pulled back in the day, but it's gone up a little bit. Opelosa from um, the tin last year, so pretty cool. Boral Sword Dragon, that's a good one. We pulled one of these in the Every Special Edition. If you have not seen that, go check it out. The Artillery, Flame Veil. We've got a, a couple of Elemental Hero Gaia Secret Rares from Ancient Prophecy. That's really cool. Saber Slash, uh, I think there's multiple in there. And then the Gravel Rose. And we've got a uh, some more XCs, guys. We've got the Ancient Forest, Skull, the Remus, Ancient Forest again, Gotham's. There's three Ancient Sacred Wyverns. I know these are actually pretty decent. We've got the uh, Sky Striker Meta, Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. Some more Sky Striker stuff. So there is a ton of Sky Strikers in all this stuff. We, we saw the ultis earlier. The Dark Soul, the Sniffus, the Bogger Knight, Zero Max. Infernity Mirage, Damage Gate, Into the Void, Ultra Rare is not bad. Ultimate Rare Herald of Perfection is actually pretty valuable. That's cool. Gen X Neutron. Cards for Black Feather is actually a very cheap Ultimate Rare, but it's very cool. Fog King, I don't know what that's worth. I haven't seen that card like ever, I don't think. It is an ulti though, so it's cool. You got the War Rocks. Those are uh, one of the worst archetypes of all time. High, high Ritual Ward. Here comes the Starlight I told you guys about. The Storm Dragon's Return. So this is... From the very first set with Starlights, I kind of look at this. It was the worst Starlight at the time, but it looks really, really cool. I remember seeing this at a store and I was like, wow, that's the new rarity. That's really awesome, actually. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it used to be the cheapest one. I think it's not now. We pulled the cheapest at one point, but they just go up gradually as they go. Slate Warrior. So here's some uh, a play set of Slate Warrior, some throwback Game Boy promos or game promos, not necessarily Game Boy. Fairy King Truesdale, the Kinetic Soldiers, Chaos Form, we got the Magician of Chaos is really awesome. Magician's Navigation for those Dark Magician decks, the Black Chaos Max. Scrap Brick from Storm of Ragnarok. Oh, the Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes, so just a ton of really cool stuff. I mean, there's still more stuff left, we're not done. 
And we've got a couple more uh, Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes. Awesome. The Draco Future from, uh, yeah, that's from King's Court. Joker Straight, the Joker's Knights, Imperial Bower. We've got the Trisha Love, the Guilty Gear Free, just a ton of stuff from Kaiko. Um, the Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, and just a ton of uh, the Ghost Sisters, Triumph Jokers. Red Eyes Fusion, here's the big boy. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon did not get banned. None of this engine got banned. We got the whole engine right here. The uh, Verite, the Dragoon, and the Fusion. So that's pretty cool to see those. Um, Foolish Burial Goods, to, and then a Foolish Burial to bookmark. This. More Sky Strikers, pretty cool. Another one of these, we had the ulti earlier. Area Zero, Tornado Dragons, uh, the Miradora. We got Link Karibo, the Draco Sack. We got a playset of Gamesiel, I guess you ask how you say the name. Secret Rare. Playset of Alpha. Those were good upon release. I think they went down. Chamber Dragon Maid. Uh, a lot of you guys like that one. The Sky Striker or Divine Arsenal Zeus. Sky Thunder. Pretty big card. That's a pretty big one. Abyss Thunder. Cosmo Town. The Phantasma. That's pretty cool from Dual Overload. I used to have so many of those when we opened that Dual Overload. IP Masquerina reprint. The Gold Levianir. The Apprentice Magician is pretty good. Illusion Magician. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. We got a Poly. Some, uh, oh, Solemn Judgments. Egyptian God Slime playset. That's pretty cool. And here is the last of the collection. Uh, it's been pretty good so far. Double Summons. We got Imperial Orders. Trap Trick. Super Poly Gold Rare. Super Poly Ultimate Rares. I mean, those are big cards. There's another Gold Rare. Christron Hawk of Fibrax. We got two of those. Wait. Yeah, they're both dual overload. Neither of them are ulti. Um, a couple up, three upstarts. Mystic Mine, the hated card, but it's it's legal. Pot of Extravagance. We got the uh, the reprint and the uh, both reprints, the Tune Chaos and the uh, Megaton. Couple Harpy, three Harpies Feather Dusters. We got some Ghost Rares. Here's what we got to look at. We got some Light Play Ghost Rares. Let's see. First of all, we have first editions. Oh, both first editions. Okay, this one does have some scratches on it. I can see. So yeah, that's that's pretty common with the ghosts, all those scratching on it. But man, they look good. Hey, look, there I am. Hi guys. But uh, you see that? It looks so good. You can't even tell they're scratching like that, which is really cool. So that's the first junk berserker. Used to be junk in terms of a ghost rare, but now it looks really cool. I think. Oh, this is triple sleeve. So we're just gonna go here. Okay. This one looks better, I think. Maybe it's because of the sleeve. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, the sleeving actually made it look a lot better. All right, so two of those. Put that in upside down. Did the uh, sleeping wrong, but that's okay. Then we got uh, a couple more ghost rares. The iconic Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. If you guys remember when we opened these. These weren't, these, not these specifically, but when we opened four of these. Light Play First Edition, Near Mint Unlimited. That's pretty awesome. And Union Carrier. So that's really it for the collection, guys. There's some pretty awesome stuff in here. I mean, we, hit, we ended it hot with some ghost rares. Maybe we'll throw these in. But yeah, it was a pretty good collection. There's a lot of great stuff. Let me know what you guys think we should pay for it, what it's worth, all that stuff. Before we end the video, I have to shout out my ultimate supporters on Patreon and YouTube. TCG Trusted Cards, Mimic Gecko, Mike Nance, and Stanley. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And that's it for this one. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!